Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it is day 55 here on the series, season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked. And we're going to get stuck in to just offloading this crap that is in our inventory. And then I'm going to go do my farm runs, it should be a nice chill day today, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, I'm going to do some odd jobs. Such uh why am I selling fucking two air runes and four law runes? What am I doing? Totally zoned out there. Alright, yeah, I don't really need to sell the sulfur blades that bad, so let's just go ahead and get ourselves on a farm run on a third house run and then a farm run. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna start off today with Majorina, either that or Barbarian. I didn't know if there would be a thing for the barbarian training in there but there isn't so i don't know if i need to bring anything with me for it i probably do but i don't know what i need i probably should have looked that up before i just kind of assumed it had been quest helper uh so we're gonna start with majorina <laughs> i don't know what the rule is on tridents like if you take a trident into the world day and you have runes in it like do you get to keep the charges? Does the person who kills you get the charges if they kill you? I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear a trident, basically. Just take the trident with me, but I'm probably gonna uncharge it first, just to make sure that- and put like a few charges in. Make sure that we, uh, don't, like, just lose it all by accident. Okay, I need my normal- oh gosh, what do I usually take in here? Air law and then earth separate, isn't it? Yeah, this shouldn't take as long, to be honest. It's just one fight. Like I say, we're not going to bother with part two just at the minute. That is unfortunate. Another dead seat. Another dead herb. Another dead patch is three days in a row. I guess I should be looking up barbarian training during any idle animations. Oh, I didn't bring any of my gear. I'm stupid. Excellent. I've got a little list of on my second monitor of uh, the things we actually need now. The barbarian. Yeah, it's not that much. We need a knife, some fishing bait or feathers, a hammer, two metal bars, and two logs. Oh, and uh, an admiral pie, so we can boost. So I think once, like, this isn't my actual odd jobs aren't going to take that long. I've decided that the last thing I'm going to do before entry-level raids is the quest beneath Cursed Sands. Main reason being, there are a couple of fights in that quest that we probably wouldn't mind having our Zami Hasta for. And I don't see any reason to do the quest before we get it. So we want to get those melee levels in first. And we also need to get the barbarian training done. So yeah, if I get the barb training done, I get the mage arena done. We have just the quest and the melee training left on the list. I'll probably also crack out the few clues today that I have in my bank. Because we're going to just have a nice chill day, like I say. And then we might just do a little bit of time at Scurrius, not the full day, but 20 minutes or whatever, the end of the day. See if we can just finish that defense level off. We are very, very close now, folks. Very close. And we've got a load of money just kind of sitting there. I don't really know what to do with a lot of it. I mean, we need supplies. We will need supplies. 
I think I bought a bunch of rune or amethyst darts when I got the blowpipe, but I'm definitely going to go for dragon, I think. I mean, we probably don't need that for entry mode, but I kind of think I may as well just take the best of everything, seeing as we've got loads and loads of expendable income and there's not really a great upgrade I can think of beyond the upgrades that we already have. Next thing would probably be like a Mando's Tacit and can't afford that yet because that's like 20 mil. I don't think we're going to get up to 20 mil spare plus supply money because I'm not really planning on doing any more money making. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to be doing Major Arena and we are going to be doing the Barbarian training and our clues and then seeing what time we have left. I'm just going to take prices of all these herbs down that aren't selling. Alright, what do we need? An Admiral Pie. Get two just to be safe. And we want two metal bars. I think I'd just go with bronze and normal locks, right? It's just cheapest. This is for the barbarian stuff. Uh, hammer, fishing bit, or feathers, a knife. I should have that stuff, right? Bit? Yep. Okay, mage trainer. What do we need for this? Runes for fighting Claudian. So, yeah. I'm going to take the trident, uncharge it. You'll not get the coins back. Okay, that's what I was kind of worried about. In that case, let's just get there first. So, we'll take a glory and mosey on over to Edgeville. We'll get ourselves one knife to allow us to cut this web here. We don't have any risk on us at the minute, so this is a completely safe run. I mean, I suppose the only risk is minutes lost. Oh, oh I have to be ready for the fight. Is it worth taking, like, more gear? Because this is in the wilderness. That's all I'm worried about. I don't really want to bring too much. I don't know what we need, though. I think it's better to bring a broom. It's probably better to bring jewelry than this. Let me check my risk. Kill by a player. So literally guide risk is zero, so it looks like we'll get to keep our full trident and stuff. Do we have Xerix? No. Do we have monk crubs, maybe? Take some of these, may as well. We probably want some prayer or food, don't we? I really don't know. How bad this guy is, I haven't done him in so long. I'm guessing I just pre mage. Well, that was easy. There's five forms, I think. Get harder as they go, obviously. He's getting kind of smoked, so. Unless he starts attacking me with a different style, I'm not really worried about this. Just sit here and kill him. Nobody's ever here. I think this is the second to last one. There's either one or two more after this. Is this the last one? I think this is the last one. Now, I don't want y'all to judge me on my choice when we go to get these capes, okay? I need you to know that it is purely a fashion choice and not in any way significant of my allegiance to the gods of RuneScape. Oh, is he teleporting me back? Nice. I'm a Guthix man. If there's any, any god in RuneScape that I align with, I'm a Guthix man. However, we're going to be wearing Bloodbark alongside this cape. I think it'd be kind of nutty not to go with the black and red. Usually I would stop and get all three, which you can by the way if you didn't realise, but I am not going to do that. During one hour limit locked, we may as well get our free staff though, in case we ever want it. And we may well want it, because it is what you use to get the second part if we ever want to upgrade our cape, which we more than likely will before the second part of raids. Alright, managed to get through that without spending any supplies at all, very nice. We've got all the stuff done for that. I'm going to be moving on to the Barbarian training. Do we have a games necklace? Did we actually get those Admiral Pies? We didn't. Oh dear. Back to the Grand Exchange. Cancel that offer. Put an Admiral Pie offer in. There we are. Okay, what else do we need? We've got the games necklace, we've got a jeweling ring on us. Let's get a stamina as well, just in case. And I'll get an axe as well, just in case, because I know there's some shit with trees around there, and I just can't remember if we should bring it with us. Yep, all good. Let's go. 
off to see Otto. Haven't been to see my man since they made a little update to him, which, I don't know, made him less annoying to talk to, because he was annoying to talk to before. I'm hoping that's what they did. If they did any other update other than making him less annoying to talk to, it was a bit silly. Dude just freaks out if you don't have a book. Talk to him about heavy rod fishing. Okay. So, is it, does, is that it? Does that just, like... Okay, so he's literally just asking me to go and do it. He's not. Okay, talk to him again. I fish with a rod. Okay, I should go do the harpoon one now. So, this is a harpoon spot. I just need to catch one fish. You have 90 seconds to do it before the buff runs out. There we go. Okay, back to water. Uh, fisherman's. Seek more knowledge. Tell me about spears, that's what I wanted. Okay, told me to smith. We would like just one bronze spear. Lovely stuff. Create a spear. Tell me more about spears. Go make a haster? Okay, create a haster. Alright, is there any sort of update on that? So I think we can just wield the Zami haster as soon as we get the attack levels now. I think we're done. I'm not 100%, I'm just going to try and equip it and see what it says. If it just says the attack levels, then... You not have the required level. It just says about the level now. Great, that's fantastic. So that's another thing done. Smashed out of the way. Right, we've got a few clues. We've got a few clues, folks. Look at that. Oh, you know I love a good clue hunt. And I'm getting towards the end of the season. When is a better time for a good old clue hunt? I can't help myself. I'm just making sure I'm stocked up on teleports and shit. And then we will go hunt down these clues. Uh, we might need some gear as well, just to hit something with... What should we take? I guess melee makes the most sense. Do we have a D-Sim? I don't really just want to take a Dragon Dagger. I suppose I will though. I know we've got to kill an Anku, that's all I'm thinking. I know we've got an Anku to kill. What else is on here? Easy, that's Falador. This one is the Anku. This one is the... Uh, that's a nasty step. I don't want to do that. I don't know why I kept that clue. I could have had like loads more clues in the past two days. Didn't we have a medium? No, just an easy and elite. I guess we'll start with the easy, knock it out. Stop at the bank for stamina that I forgot because I didn't top up at Ferox either. What you got for us, Lucy? Ardy Zoo with some shit. Okay, we'll get that shit, but we are going to go to... Where's Corrand? There we go. What, what's that shit? Studded body, a... Gosh, which direction am I going? Up here. Studded body, bronze plate legs, and a normal staff. All shit that you can buy in the middle of Varrock. There is our Anku down. We have a second step of an elite clue scroll. Let's just go to Ferox. Get this dweeb off us. Sherlock. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this elite, but I figured with the first easy step, we should just chase it down and see. Okay. And I want some coins on me so that I can buy things in Varrock. I'm just checking if I had any of them anyway. Nope. Okay, so we're going to go check the Sherlock step first, see what it is. Chances are we can't do it because half of his shit is like cut down a magic tree. We have shit stats, so there's probably like a, I don't know what the chances are. I'm not set on, I don't look up these things in advance, but there's probably like a 90% chance that we can't do this. Just pulling that number completely out of my arsehole. That's the wrong one. Activate Chivalry. Wait, we can do that. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fight arena pub, any pirate bandana, a dragon necklace. What? I don't even know what that shit is. Dragon necklace? Does it mean like a dragon stone necklace? It is a dragon stone necklace, a magic longbow, and a pirate bandana. They are tradable, you can get them on the GE. I got the bandana. Dragon necklace. I guess it is called a dragon necklace, not a dragon stone. That's weird. I would have just assumed it was dragon stone. Because dragon makes me think of red. I'm assuming we can equip that. Uh, and the fight arena pub. But I guess we're going to Ardy. And I've barely even done elites on my main account. It's mainly because I've had one stuck in my bank that was like five steps completed forever. And I just haven't been, I haven't done it. <laughs> I think I just need like a pyromancer robot or something. It's just 
Ugh. Right, come on, give me a good step, bro. Give me a nice, easy one. Uh, the child, child result. We can do that. We can do that. Get there. We got Gommel's Hill. We can teleport here, run there, and then I don't really know what we'll want to kill them. Let's just pop over the GE. Put this stuff back on. We don't need it anymore. I feel like these are the ones that attack on two styles. I can't really remember though. I'm just going to take a regular combat potion. Use Gommel's Hill to teleport to God Wars and put our ranged prayer on because these cunts. I think the prayer I want depends on which one spawns. Oh no, I can't melee it. If it was the Bandos one, I would have been able to. That was... Oh my gosh, that's my only Trollheim teleport. Oh no, no, I've got three, I've got three, I've got three. <laughs> Panic avert. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go with this then. Take two. Yeah, I don't know what's in this blood pipe. What have we got? Rune darts times 12. I've only got 12 darts. I swear I bought darts, what the hell? Are they just sighting my bank or something? Oh my gosh, let's hope 12 darts is enough, y'all. We've got the Avers on. Oh. <laughs> Please don't make this a take three. We do have one more if we desperately need it. I feel like I'm gonna run out of ammo any second. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, what is this? Lumbridge. Right, we're gonna teleport there, and I'm also gonna put my entity hider back off, because I do actually like to see death animations most of the time. It's helpful. It's just when we're doing those zombies and we're all stacked up and we're trying to do this shit. Okay, it's Sherlock again. S step six? I mean, five steps we've done. Please, Sherlock, give me something we can do. Make me activate Chivori again. I can do that. I have no idea what the percentage chance of these is. It will be worth it. The elites are always disappointing, but I don't care. I just kind of want to have one done on the account. I can do that. I can do that. The question is, did the Dragonstone necklace already sell? It didn't, but I didn't go to the GE. What an idiot. I have to withdraw it the GE. Oh, and I sold all my Cosmic Rins, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, Enchant Dragonstone? Let's go. We're actually doing this, y'all. I think this might have been the last step as well. Maybe there can be more, I'm not sure. But this is the sixth completed step. I feel like that's the max, but maybe it's not on an elite. It's probably not in it. You could probably get a six step hard clue. Come on boy, give us that casket. Oh, that is not a casket, but it is, it is something that we can also do. What the hell? We've been kind of lucky on this. Not complaining at all. Oh, please tell me I'm going the right way. I am, thank fuck. Casket? Yes, let's go! I'm gonna go do the easy one now. Get both caskets together, why the hell not? We're getting it ourselves a bronze plate legs. This is not Louis legs. That is a studded body though. We're getting ourselves a studded body, that's what I said in the first place. We're getting ourselves a staff from Zaf, and I'm now wondering why I didn't just get them on the GE. I thought I was being smart. Regular staff, may as well grab those while we're there. Back to the GE, flat those up. Meant to put all of them up, not one of them. Put the skills necklace up, why the hell not? Thank you. Well, I'm here, I want to check my darts. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I, I got a bunch of ruined darts. I just didn't fucking put them in the pipe. Okay, but I am going to upgrade from the ruined darts anyway, so. But for now, I'll just get them in there. Wonderful. Let's go to Adi Zoo. Stopping at the bank for some stamina because I still haven't reset myself. I keep running around with loads of gear on. Okay, Varrocky Spank. Falador. I think this should be the last step. It's the four. Don't think easies can be longer than four. I might be wrong though. There's the casket. Let's see what we get inside. The easy has some Morton Tell. Whoa, those are expensive. Okay, that's 400k. We'll take that. We'll fucking take it. No, I don't want to mimic boss fight. I can't be bothered. Look at that, we got some Iowa camp teleports. Not worth nearly as much. And some random other supplies. Told you that the elite would not be worth it at all, but who cares. Slap the winnings up. We did make about 500k from the clue hunts as soon as those Morton teleports sell, which I can't imagine they will because they're hella expensive. 
surely somebody wants them though. Maybe if I put them down ever so slightly, they'll insta sell. Yeah, they were over the asking price. I'll just leave them on that. All right, I want some dragon darts. Okay, maybe not that many. All right, actually, let's go with amethyst darts. We'll take dragon darts to normals, if and when we do them. Amethyst is gonna be the call here. Uh, and I want a bunch more scales as well, because we may as well just get a shit ton. I'm spending all my money here because we're at the point where supplies is all we need. So I may as well just spend a shit ton of money and make sure. Okay, so what are we on now? We've got 3,000 amethyst darts. It's almost 8,000 scales. We've got some rune darts spare in the bank. We want some ruby dragon alts E. Yep, expensive, but yep, we, this is why we have money. Actually, should probably get my cash stack so I can see how much I'm spending though. Okay, that is another thing to put in there. Do we need diamonds as well? No, we'll be switching to the blowpipe. So we don't need diamonds. Yep, that's fine. We've got the mage cape and the... There was something else that we just got as well, wasn't there? I was like, it was just the Zamir has to access, wasn't it? Where's our trident? Oh, it's because it's not full anymore. Right, that looks like our raid setup, I think. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's get some brews. Let's get some super restores. Doing all this now, because I said we're having a chill day and there's not really much time left. So I figure we may as well just get it out of the way and then whenever we do get to the raids we'll already have all our supplies ready to go okay so we want this this we want some anti venom i guess anti venom plus i mean sure not that expensive we want super combat we want ranging potions stamina potions so we'd take a range potion and anti-venom, we'd pre-port with stam and super combat, and then we would have quite a lot of room, I guess, for invent space, and then some manta rays? They're expensive. So is everything else we're using. Now the only question remaining is whether we'd want to take a rune pouch for some blood barrages, which I think we probably do. So I would more than likely cut a brew, put that there, and then maybe maybe cut another brew, honestly. I don't think we need that many. And then I can take blood barrage runes, or blood burst runes even. No, well, no, we could possibly barrage. I'll have to double check what runes we want and come back to that at a later date. But this looks pretty good looks pretty good i think this is what our setup is gonna look like for raids y'all i think we'd need one one more invent space for a rune there i think because we have four four types all right uh i've spent a while just stood here messing around at the bank now so why don't we go just do a little very quick trip at scurrious why not just get a few kills in okay need food i'm not doing Burk. Yeah, we should just be able to get a couple kills in here. Maybe, maybe, maybe just get the defense level. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Should have pre-potted, should have pre-potted. Am I going to bother trying to flick or am I just going to eat it? Because we've got tons of money. Who cares about prayer? I think I'm at the point now where I just don't give a fuck anymore about costs. Because, like, we're down to, to, well, I suppose we've still got an extra 7.5 mil. So, we're down to, like, 12 mil. I don't think there's any more grids we can get that aren't a substantial amount like 20 mil plus in cost and we don't know how many attempts it's going to take us and how many supplies we're going to need i'm pretty stocked up on supplies now but if it takes us a long time to get a normal done especially like i don't know i don't want to use all my money but i also just don't care about fucking flicking right now i wanted to chill there <laughs> maybe the next two training days i will care Oh, just missed a rat spawn. F's in chat. Yay, we actually got the spawn this time. Can't tell if we're going to get this level. I don't think we are. We got like two and a half thousand XP and two kills. And it took us a few minutes, so we'll be right on the cusp of it, though. Also very close to a hit points level. Lovely stuff. 
Now, the shadows are really hard to see on this set, like graphic settings, since I uh, changed everything around. Like, they're so thin. I don't think we're going to be able to get another kill in there, are we? We might just be able to get the level, though. We'll have to see. Let's get the level on the dip. Big spec. We'll take that. Come on, a couple more hits. Lovely stuff. Come on, give me another 36. Take, I'll take a 10. Oh, rats are good. Rats are good. There we go! We can use piety! Finally! We've got access to this beautiful prayer. Slapping it straight on, of course. I don't think we can finish this kill, but why not just get a few more hits in? See you later, Scorius. You have been very kind to give us that level before the end of the day. Well, fuck. Oh, that was 300 KC as well. How clean! Okay, fucks. Well, it's been a bit of a, an odd roundabout day, because we've, unlike most days where we gain lots of XP and we make lots of money, today we have spent lots of money, I don't have an awful lot to show for it, and also only got 25k XP, half of which was that defense XP that we just did in the last five minutes. It's been an odd day, but it's exactly what I wanted it to be. We got done our mage cape, our raid setup is now looking real fierce. I'm, I will want some runes in this pouch or I could just take two extra brews. The thing is, I think I want the burst runes for baboons in particular and it would be kind of nice to have ice runes as well so that we can freeze the crocodiles in Zebak. If you've no idea what I'm talking about, of course, you'll find out when we get there. But yeah, I feel like it's going to be kind of tough to do those parts without access to ancients so i would like to try and bring them along with me if i can you know we, we've only got four way switches so we've got tons of invent space we may as well just take the ancients we've got shit tons of prayer pots here but i think we'll need them the only thing that's really not great at the minute is this obsidian but there's fuck all we can do about that there's nothing to upgrade it to other than bandos Blood Moon would be an upgrade, but we don't have the 75 strength that we need for it, so. Yep, just two more attack levels to go now, folks. We will be working on those tomorrow and probably the day after as well. And then it is Beneath Cursed Sands, and then we are finally stepping into raids. Make sure to let me know in the comments how excited you are for that to come, and leave a like on the video as we get into the nitty gritty meaty portion of the series here i'm super excited to do our first raid this is our account it's not my account this is the for everyone in the community that only has an hour to play a day not that i'm one of those people i play this game like 12 hours a day because i'm a sad bastard but this is for all the people that do only play it for an hour or 15 minutes for all the people that thought it couldn't be done we're about to do some raids until then look after yourselves be lovely to one another and i'll see you on the next one